We had another voicemail coming in, and this is what they left. Hi there. This is Rick B. in Texas. And my question is, I've had three different women over the last 10 years or so ask me to do. And I'm curious as to why. What they have asked me to do is to eat my own cum. Now, my question is, what what is it about a guy eating his own cum that turns women on? Why do they want to see that? Thanks. <laughs> now, Kevin, if I'm not mistaken, you have some experience as, as a kink educator. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, like uh, paraphilias are one of my very favorite things when people, you know, have a particular erotic interest in something that might, you know, surprise you that we're not used to. Uh, oh, gosh. OK. I didn't know people were into that. Um, and yeah. You know, all all of the bodily fluids, anything that comes out of the body, someone is going to be turned on by in one way or another. So, you know, I personally have no experience with women <laughs> wanting to see <laughs> men eating gum like as as a thing that I've uh, experienced uh, up close. Um, but I certainly am very familiar with the popularity of uh eating cum you know in in various uh scenarios you know like one of the most maybe popular ones porn wise is bukkake where you know there's one person and you know uh an entire room full of people have come on his face you know so yeah it's just uh, i think that what it is is that it it, it comes from the body, you know, it comes from the body and there, you know, there's, there is in any of those paraphilias about bodily fluids, pee, poop, cum, blood, tears, sweat, all of that. It's kind of, oh, I, I'm consuming a part of you, you know, I'm taking a part of you into me, you know, is... Uh, like uh, this part of your DNA, you know, has gone into my bloodstream and system. And there's just something about that that really uh, turns people on, you know? Yeah. Um, Kelly and I, Reba. Yeah, Reba, yeah, please. I think that if I were inviting someone to eat their own cum, um, it would be because I was trying to do a power play move, mm. um, knowing that that was something that would put them in a vulnerable, it would be vulnerable for them. Absolutely. And, and, and to, to like prove, I would want them to like show me that they would be vulnerable for me and, and do that. And so that sort of is a, a power play move. Um, well put. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, and I also think that this question, I love that this question came in. I also think that the answer to the question is, well, next time that happens, ask the person who's asking you, because it, it might be a different answer from everyone who's asking you to do it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I, you know, like, that's another thing uh, uh, that I find the more I talk to people with fetishes and all that sort of thing is that oftentimes people will have very different reasons or ways into you know something happened in their childhood or or not you know like it, it can be very interesting to talk to different people about what got them into that but i actually do find that there are a lot of people that when they do have a fetish like you know there there are a lot of people for example with piss for example who that really is a fetish that becomes as permanent and ongoing as other sexual activities you know what i mean so um it's kind of it's a little bit unpredictable i think yeah i, I want to be sure we hear uh, kelly's perspective if uh if there's been anything that you've experienced especially as a dominatrix like do you find do you do you engage with your partners in this way making them do things that is either emasculating is that a turn on for you or is that because it's a turn on for them to be treated that way mm. It's actually both because a lot of the, the people that I see are in high power positions. Mm -hmm. So they like to do things that are quote unquote degrading to them. Mm -hmm. So again, it's like the, 
making them eat their own cum or making them jerk off in their own mouth Mm -hmm. or me peeing over them. And while I'm peeing over them, I'm telling them how filthy they are. So it's more of like (laughs) emasculating them and, and again, publicly humiliating. 